Good morning, this is Sunrise, it's nine o'clock. Our top story, a failure to deal with so-called honour violence. More cases. Hello, good morning, you're watching Sunrise. I'm Sarah Jane Mee. New figures shared with Sky News suggest that police are failing victims of so-called honour crimes, with only 5% of reported cases going ahead to prosecution. The Iranian and Kurdish women's rights organisation say that of the 5,000 cases reported to police, only 256 were sent to the Crown Prosecution Service. Well, honour crimes occur within households, families or communities arriving out of a perceived insult to honour. Sky Charlotte Lomas has more details. Donald Trump is in South Korea as part of his 13-day tour of Asia. He addressed a press conference a little earlier demanding global action against the North. Seoul and speak to our Asia correspondent Katie Stallard who was following that news conference. Uh, Katie, what did you make of what the president said and the tone that he took? This is... Uh, Jonathan's here now with the latest on the investigation into the shooting in Texas. Uh, what more details have we got today, Jonathan? Well, more information is coming out all the time about the... Uh, now, Facebook is launching a person-to-person -person payment service here in the UK, extending the social network's reach into financial services. The US tech giant's Messenger app will now allow users to instantly send funds back and forth on their mobile phones or computers with no fees. This is after users have linked their accounts to their debit cards. Well, to talk to us about this, we have to see you. Good morning. Um, now, how is this going to work? Because we have so many ways of paying now. We're not using cash, we're using mm -hmm. contactless, we're using PayPal, we're using Apple Pay. Everything's on our phone. Why did Facebook feel the need to get involved when there are so many other services out there? Well, you know, generally when you have to pay each other, it always starts with a conversation or generally someone asks you for money before you send them money. And so... To look like if you're having a conversation with a friend on Messenger and you were talking about the dinner you were out for last night, right. and they say, you owe me 30 quid for dinner last uh -huh. night. How does it look? It sounds like a convenient way to pay. But, yes. David, a lot of people are going to be very nervous because sites like Facebook and other social media outlets have so much information about us now. Obviously, you have personal details, you have a list of all our friends and family, you have what we like, and now you're going to have our bank details. So effectively, Facebook probably will know more about me than my mum does. <laughs> I don't Which think... Is that I like to shop online for, say, dresses. Well, that's a different thing. And you've thing. now got my bank details. Is this not going to be targeted in terms of, here, have a look at this? And we've got your bank yes. details, so no, it's actually... easy for you to spend money. So the upside of our information being safe online. The downside to that will be you'll be well aware of conversations that have been had at government level, for instance, in this country with regards to encryption on certain messaging services. Mm -hmm. And there is Facebook, WhatsApp should allow governments access to information when it is for uh, purposes of national security. Mm -hmm. What's Facebook's stance on that? Well, as far as Messenger is concerned... UK government needed access to messaging services on Facebook. It would not have any barriers in the way of getting access to specific accounts. Uh, provided it follows the due... Social media is going now. All of our lives seem to be online, increasingly so as more generations grow up with it. There's Facebook... Is there room enough for everyone in terms of it, those who use Facebook will see how you've adapted? So a, there are a lot of features on there now that look a little bit like Instagram features. I'm thinking of Facebook stories. Is there room for everyone or are you all just copying each other? Well, I mean, the purpose... See you, we're going to take a look at the sport now with Jackie. Hello. Hello. Um, Jackie is here with all the sport, little drama during the break. She's lost her scripts. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember them. Uh, David Moyes. Mm, that is not good news. Um, right, Isabel is here with a look at the weather. How's Tuesday shaping up? Not as great as yesterday. I was beautiful and cold and sunny. Good morning, it's 9.32. You're watching Sunrise coming up, our debate of the day. Should there be women-only spaces? Your views, news at sky.com to email us or you can tweet me this morning at Sky Sarah Jane. That's on the way. Uh, but first this morning, new figures shared with Sky News suggest that police are failing victims of so-called honour crimes, with only 5% of reported cases going ahead to prosecution. The Iranian and Kurdish women's rights organisation says that of the 5,000 cases reported to police, only 256 were sent on to the Crown Prosecution Service. 
Well, honour crimes are those that have occurred within households, families or communities arising out of a perceived insult to honour. Sky's Charlotte Lomas has more details. Uh, time now for our Sky Debate. And this morning we are asking, should there be more spaces that are just for women? To discuss this, I'm joined by a contributor at the Good Creating to Create a Space for Women. It's social and working right. space. Why yeah. did you feel the need to create one? So to set the scene a little bit um, and to begin with the economic context for female leaders in business in the interesting uh, Belinda are you seeing it as a space for that there should be spaces for women to start their own conversations because often the phrase used is that women want a seat at the table but you could argue how can you have a seat at the table if you want to go in the other room cutting men out of the conversation I I, it, it is, it, to a certain degree it is. I mean, what I would say is going to be accusing them of harassment or whatever. So I think, yes, you know, let women set up spaces if they want to. And if men want... It will be that you're, th this kind of space is fueling the battle of the sexes, is separating men from women, because the criticism from women and men has long been it's these uh, clubs that are just for men and women rally against, you know, a, a social club. But we're not taking a step back. See, I would argue that what we're trying to do is to create... With men because whether you like it or not that is the way the world is working at the moment and yes women are trying to change that but a lot of people will say well just by becoming a little bit more at some point men are woven into the fabric of business and life and you will have to have those discussions confrontations co arguments yeah. with men and you know what I think we're in violent agreement because the point about Albright is it isn't anti-men the way of changing the conversation without the women all having to go into another room to talk about it um, I, I, ideally, I'd like to see women just in there and, and able... And really the hope is that if women do have their own space to socialise and work, they will then leave that space a bit more empowered, yes. feeling like they've got a bit of backup. Yes, we're all about creating a girl gang. Um, and if I look at my own life as an entrepreneur, I've built... Uh, coming up, All Out Politics with Adam. That's at 10 o'clock. Morning, Adam. Yeah. Clock. There's still more to come here on Sunrise before then, though, uh, including M&S have released. Uh, right, it is the 7th of November, which means we're looking ahead to Christmas. Yay. The Christmas adverts are on our TV as of round about now, actually, round about this morning. I haven't even got over Halloween and bonfire night. <laughs> we're already talking about the Christmas ads. Uh, this is the week where many uh, organisations, many shops release them. Uh, let's take a look at some of the ones that we've known and loathed. I mean loved. Loved. Known and loved. Loved. Just how ridiculous things have got. <laughs> Marks and Spencers recently released a trailer for their advert. Their advert <laughs> is released today. Let's take a look at that. Uh, very cute. Uh, they've Lovely. joined forces with Paddington Bear, uh, the, the film. It's too early. It's too early. No, it I don't isn't. mind the odd advert. No. A couple of weeks before. Jackie and I are Christmas Two themed months. this morning. We're ready for it. I want Bring it, it on. No, I'm, I'm going on holiday at Christmas. I'm doing Christmas on the 5th of December. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you'll explode in a cloud of glitter. I love by then, Christmas. Jackie. Isn't, isn't um, the reason people wear red? because of the Coca-Cola adverts back in the day. Mm. Didn't it used to be blue for Santa Claus? It was green for Santa and then it changed to, to red. red. And you saw that advert there, the Coca-Cola one, holidays are coming, that tune gets stuck in your head. Sorry about that, 7th of November, right through till Christmas Day. But they were going to do a tour, well, they are doing a tour of the truck around various cities in the UK, which I think is a bit much. I don't know if that's that Christmassy. No. But some of those adverts are just really sweet, aren't they? Yeah, the John Lewis the one. Battle always of the adverts. Battle of the adverts. It doesn't make me want to go into the shops, do, necessarily. Do you know what? It, puts me, it actually puts me off going shopping. Uh, you online. don't need much excuse, though, do you? You do, your, you, do, you do your shopping like that, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jackie, what um, has caught your eye today? Well, this story um, was causing a huge mm. hoo-ha yesterday morning. And uh, the ATP, which uh, governs the, the men's tour of tennis and their sponsors, Red Bull, have come out with an apology. Jackie, thank you. Uh, that's nearly it for Sunrise. Before we go, I'm going to take a look at Tuesday's weather. Coming up at 10 o'clock, all out politics with Adam Bolton and there are more calls for the Foreign Secretary.